These aren't your average students. I just came here to have fun, you know, give it my all. And uh, that's all, at the end of the day, that's all marriage that I try my best. I like being here. I have a great time every time I'm here, and I just like showing up and competing. Every year, high school and post secondary automotive students from all over Illinois come to compete in the Skills USA competition here in Springfield. We have over 300 students that take the written test and only 60 of them actually get to come downstate. So this is a big thing for these kids all year to work toward and to achieve this because whoever wins here goes down to the national competition and that's from every state. There are 20 different stations and 15 minutes to complete each one. Everything from brakes to air conditioning, electrical, wheel alignments and balancing, and even job prep. Personally, the hardest part is the interview for me. Like, I'm okay with the hands-on stuff, but then when I have to talk about myself, it's like, yeah, that's the trickiest part for me. <laughs> My hardest station was either with the scope or a lot, a lot of the parts. Like, they gave so much parts, but like 15 minutes to measure all those parts was, you know, a time crunch. But, you know, like I said before, I just gave it my all, and that's all you can really do. It was a little overwhelming. I mean, at the electrical part, not really my strong suit, so I was a little nervous. But, I mean, overall, it was, you know, stuff I do every day at school. So once the nerves settled down, I was okay. I thought it was pretty cool. The electrical stations, however, dominated the competition. Today, cars are smarter. It's like having a computer on wheels. You have some cars like a Lexus or something, they'll have 90 some different modules on them that are all communicating with each other. So it's very important that they get a good grasp on electrical and electronics um, because that's, that's where everything is going. I mean, there isn't a part on the car now that doesn't deal with electricity. But none of this would be possible without local 701 members who volunteer their time. They enjoy giving back and mentoring the next generation of mechanics. I speak to them and talk to them about uh, the benefits of a union. We only, we've got a few minutes or so. I ask them, okay, what's your career goal? One of the best things about learning a trade is the work generally can't be outsourced. Think about it. If you need to get your car service, you aren't going to send it to China. There's jobs going overseas and crossing borders, but you know what, the knowledge that you get is yours. It's, it's yours stuck up in here and no, nobody can take it and nobody can take it somewhere else and say we can do it over here. They got to come to you. For these future auto mechanics, programs like this are essential. For many, having a skilled trade is an ideal route to the middle class. I feel like this is a good like substitute for like those kids like such as myself because I'm more of, like a hands-on kind of guy. I'm not really like bookwork kind of person. So I feel like this is really important to like keep these things, like keep schools like this and like competitions like this. Not everybody has sports, but we have like this. This is our sport. That's the nice thing about this is it's 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 showing the schools and the students that vocational trades are still there, they're still a viable option. They can make more money sometimes than if they were to go to college. Um, most of them don't come out with huge debts like they do when they're going to a four-year college. And who doesn't like the sound of that? Skilled laborers are the people that built our country. Learning a trade provides you with the skills employers need here in the United States. Will you match that with a good union contract? Everyone wins. For the Machinist News Network, I'm Velana Cochran.